get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey Falcons, welcome back to school, and welcome back to another season of making music with our Falcon friends. I'm Mr. B. This year, we have got so many fun musical things to do. We've got new songs, we've got new games, we've got new activities, we've got new instruments, all new projects to work on, all new music to make. So, you know what? Enough talking. Let's make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, fifth grade. Oh, we have got a really great song to start this year. This is a song It's perfect to start this year because this song is a song of welcome. However, it's not going to be a song you recognize because it's not a song that's even in English. It's a song that's in a different language. It's because this song is not from America. It's actually from a country in Africa. There is America right there. Across the ocean, there is Africa. And right here along the coast is a country called Nigeria. Now, in Nigeria, they are known for having tons and tons of music. They love music in Nigeria. I mean, they love music all over the world, but especially in Nigeria, they love music. There's a song there that's called Funga Alafia. Now, that's probably something you've never said before, so let's practice it. I'll say Funga, you say it back. Funga Alafia. Now, what does that mean? What exactly does Funga Alafia mean? I will tell you. Funga Alafia means welcome and blessings. Something that you would say to someone when they are coming to visit. Funga Alafia. Say that together. Great. In this song, there is one other word. It's ashe. Can you say ashe? Those are all the words in the song. Funga alafia and ashe. What does ashe mean? Ashe means let it be so. So welcome, blessings, let it be so. It's a nice thing to say. Let me sing the song to you. Grab my guitar. The song goes like this. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Very catchy song. This song's got a lot of cool things in it. I'm going to sing I want you to echo back this time. Listen. Funga alafia. Ashe, ashe. Funga alafia. Ashe, ashe. My last part, the melody, you might recognize that. Ashe, ashe. Lu, 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 lu. Lu, lu, lu. That sounds like something you know. Sounds like hot cross buns, doesn't it? Sounds like mi, re, do. Mi, mi, re, do. Very cool. Listen again. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Nice job. Let's try the whole part of the song. Here we go. I'll sing it. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Nice job. Don't just sing it once, sing it twice. Sing it twice, because it's so nice. Ready? Sing it together. Here we go. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Great. You're probably hearing something in this song. You're probably hearing every time we sing Funga alafia, it's the same. But the ashe is different. The first time is different from the second time. What's different about it? Here's the first one. Ashe, ashe. Okay. How about the second one? Ashe, ashe. Remember what we said about that? Mi, mi, re, do. Well, they don't sound the same, do they? What's different about them? The first one, ashe, ashe. What happens to the pitch? What happens to the melody? It goes higher, right? The second one we know goes lower because we already said mi, mi, re, do. It goes all the way down. Good. Let's sing it together one more time. Here we go. 
Funga alafia ashe ashe Funga alafia ashe ashe Funga alafia ashe ashe Funga alafia ashe ashe Nice job. We'll come back to that song next week. We'll see you then. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, fifth grade. This year, we've got a really fun project we're going to start working on. It is called a drum circle. Now, I know what you're thinking. You don't have a drum at your house, and maybe some of you do. Probably most of you don't. That's okay. We're going to make do. All you need to make this work is a bucket. If you have a bucket, you're going to need that bucket. So ask your parents to go get a bucket. Make sure it is empty. Now, if you don't have a bucket, I would strongly recommend that you pause this video and you go get a bucket. These are not that expensive. You can get one at Home Depot. That's where this one came from. You go to Lowe's. You can go to Napa, Napa Know How. They have buckets there. They aren't really that expensive. They're usually about 4 or $5. And you just need one. If you want to get more than one, that's fine. But all you're going to need is a bucket. Now, if you can't get a bucket for some reason, a little trash can might work. But then you have to empty it out because, again, you got to make sure it's empty in there, okay? So if you need a bucket, go get one because you're going to need one to make the next part work, all right? Okay, I'm assuming you now have a bucket. Maybe you don't, but if you don't have one, pause it and go get one. If you do, get it ready. Okay. This bucket is going to work very much like a drum because, literally, this is kind of like a drum. Drums are empty on the inside. That's where the sound vibrates around. And they have a head. They have sort of like a skin here. Now, this is obviously plastic. It won't sound quite like a drum, but it'll get the point across, all right? So what you're going to do with this bucket is put it on your lap, just like that, okay? Take one hand, put it in the middle. Take one hand, put it on the edge. You have one hand in the middle, one hand on the edge, okay? I'm going to play. I want you to listen. Here's a hand in the middle, okay? Listen to that sound. Listen to that again, okay? Listen when I play on the edge. Okay? They sound similar, but they don't sound quite the exact same. Listen again. Here's the middle. Here's the edge. What's different? Have you figured it out? The middle, when you hit it, makes a lower type of sound. It makes a lower pitch. When you hit on the edge, it makes a higher pitch. Why is that? Think about it. Do some research. See if you can figure that out until next week, all right? Now, let's actually try it ourselves, okay? When you hit, you're going to use this part of your hand, the fleshy fingertips and the, the pads of your fingers, the really just your fingers. You don't want to use your whole hand, especially on the drum, because these drums are not really drums, all right? So we're going to hit, and when you hit, you don't want to stay there. You can notice, you can experiment a little bit. You'll notice the sound is very different if you keep your hand there versus if you strike it, almost like a slap, okay? Hit on the edge, you get that different sound. But again, I'm still bouncing my fingers. Careful, because the drum sometimes have those ridges along the end. Well, they pretty much all do, and you don't want to hurt yourself. So if it's hurting, change something. You don't want to hurt yourself. This isn't about hurting yourself. It's about having some fun and making some music, right? Okay. Okay. I'm going to play, and I would like you to echo back. I'm going to start just in the middle. I'm going to hit three in the middle. I want you to echo back. Listen. Go ahead. Listen good. Try it again. One more time. Okay, that's easy, right? Let's go to the edge. Okay, I'll play three on the edge now. Notice I'm not resting my hand there. It makes a different type of sound as well. It makes it a little bit higher. So you can experiment here a little bit, but I'm going to leave my hand off. Okay, listen. Go ahead. Hitting on the edge. Listen. Go ahead. One more time. Good. Now, we're going to mix and match. We're going to do some in the middle, some on the edge. Listen very carefully. I'm going to play, see if you can figure this out. Listen. Try it. Listen again. One more time, listen. Go ahead. 
Now, you might be hearing a little clicking. That's actually my wedding ring. And I should have said this before, and I did not. Now, it doesn't really matter on a bucket too much. It might make some cool sounds, actually. But on a real drum, when you're playing with your hands, you don't want to wear any rings. So if you're wearing a ring, hopefully, I don't, I'm assuming you're not married because you're in fifth grade and you shouldn't be. But you can take off a ring if you have one. Just put it off to the side. Don't lose it, of course, or else your wife will be really mad at you. Okay, here we go. Trickier patterns. Listen to this one. All on the edge. Listen again. Try it. One more time. Go ahead. Good. Try one more with both. We're going to do back and forth pattern. Listen. Go ahead. One more time. One more time. Listen. Good. Really quick little warm-up to student echo. Now, if you have someone else who has a drum at your house, or I should say bucket, you can actually go back and forth. One of you can play, and the other person can echo, and then you can switch. You can go back and forth. You can make one up, they can echo. They can make one up, you can echo. That's a lot of fun. Here's another really fun activity you can do with these bucket drums, okay? Um, I'm going to ask a question to you right now. I'm not going to be able to hear the answer because I'm recording this, and this isn't the same time. It's not how... That's not how it works. But I'm going to ask you a question. The question is this. What's for dinner? Now, if I ask you what's for dinner, I would like you to think what would be the meal. If you could pick, what meal would you like to have for dinner? You could pick anything you want. You could pick mashed potatoes. You could pick mac and cheese. You could pick steak. You could pick cheeseburgers. You could pick tacos, one of my favorites. Lots of different ones you could pick. Okay? So I'm going to ask what's for dinner. I want you to answer that. Okay, ready? What's for dinner? Okay, this is not culinary arts class, okay? This is not cooking class, this is music class. So let's ask it a little musically. I'm gonna ask that question, what's for dinner, with a rhythm. Listen, what's for dinner? Notice how I said it a little bit more rhythmically. What's for dinner? Can you answer rhythmically? So for instance, if I say, what's for dinner? You'd say, mac and cheese. Or you'd say, what's for dinner? Tacos. What's for dinner, mashed potatoes, okay? Try to fit it into a rhythm. There's no right or wrong rhythm, but just try to fit it into that rhythm, okay? Here we go. What's for dinner? Good, okay. Take that food that you've made for dinner, and now I'm gonna ask you the question one more time. I'm not just gonna ask you with my voice. I'm gonna ask you while I play the drum. I'm gonna ask you like this. What's for dinner? Notice how the rhythm on the drum matches up with the rhythm of my voice. What's for dinner, okay? You know what you're gonna do, obviously. You're going to not just say your answer, you're gonna also play your answer. So I'll ask, what's for dinner? You'll say, cheeseburgers, okay? Or you'll say, what's for dinner? Grilled cheese, I got cheese in the mind. What's for dinner? Steak, kind of a boring one. So you're gonna answer that with the drum now, okay? You can play low sound, you can play a high sound, whatever you want, okay, here we go. What's for dinner? Great. This is something else you can do with a friend or a parent or anybody in your house who, as long as you have two buckets to play on. So one person will ask what's for dinner and they'll answer with their voice and also with their bucket. Kind of a fun thing to do. And then when you're done, you can just throw all that food in here and cook it up and make some dinner with you. It's a multi-purpose bucket, guys. Okay, great. All right. Nice job. Keep that bucket handy. You're going to need it in just a second. We're making All right, fifth grade, you still got your bucket. I hope you do. Hopefully it's still empty. Hopefully you cleaned it out with the food you put in there. Or hopefully you didn't even put food in there. All right, bucket time. We've been playing on these, and that's a lot of fun, but I want to actually teach you a pattern that you can play on this. We're going to learn something that's really pretty cool to do, okay? We're going to do our drum circle right now, and we are going to learn uh, some patterns that are all going to fit together. In music, when we have patterns that fit together, we call them complementary rhythms. Complementary. Can you say complementary rhythms? Complementary rhythms are rhythms that go really, really well together. It's like when you compliment somebody. You say, oh, I like your shirt. Thank you. Or, oh, I like your bucket. Thank you. I got it at Home Depot. So complementary rhythms are not complements, but they do work really well together. And usually when people compliment each other, they work really well together too. So there you go. Complementary rhythms. I'm going to teach you two different ones. Here's the first rhythm. What you need to do is, like we did in our last part, have one hand in the middle, one hand on the edge, one for the low, 
sounds and one for the high sounds. Here we go. This is a pattern. I'm going to play it for you. It's a short pattern. I'm going to keep repeating it. Ostinato. Listen. Did you notice that? Okay. I played that pattern several times. In fact, I played it four times. You know what the pattern was? If you say the pattern just once, what would it be? Not the whole thing, just the pattern itself. Do you know what it was? Listen to it. Our pattern is this. Low, high, low, wait, wait. 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 The pattern itself is just this. Low, high, low, wait, wait. That's it. That's the whole pattern. How many beats long is that? Low, high, low, wait, wait. Four beats long. Now you play more sounds than that. We're not talking about beats. We're talking about rhythms and we're talking about what we're playing. But it is over four beats, okay? So the important part is that you do the motion for the weights. For the rests is what they really are, but I'll just say wait, it makes it sound a little bit better than rest, rest, okay? Here we go. I'm going to play it. I want you to play along with me. When you're comfortable, join me on your bucket. Here we go. High, low, wait, wait. You can say it too. Low, high, low, wait, wait. 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 Low, high, low, wait. Wait, low, high, low, wait, and stop. Good, that's the whole pattern, okay? Practice that, practice that pattern. Once this video is done, practice that. It's pretty easy to remember, especially if you say it. I would really recommend not just playing it, but saying it. That's kind of one of the things you're doing with our question and answer earlier, or about the what's for dinner, okay? That is the first pattern that you're gonna learn your drum. Now, to have a complementary rhythm, you need more than one pattern. And that is where our next pattern comes in, okay? Now, this one is a little bit different from the get-go. First of all, your hands don't need to be on the edge in the middle. They need to both be on the edge. We're just going to play on the edge, which aren't the low sounds. They are the high sounds, okay? This pattern is also very unique because it starts with a rest. It starts with waiting, okay? So now listen. I'm going to start it. Let me just listen to the pattern. I'll do it a couple times. Listen. Wait. Wait. Okay, what can we say for this to help us remember it? Very simple, we're gonna say this. Wait, wait, keep the rhythm going. 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 Pretty simple, okay? Now what's the pattern? Well, it's easy when you say it like that. It's keep the rhythm going. But before that, we have our two weights. So the pattern all by itself is wait, wait, keep the rhythm going, okay? Let's give it a shot. Let's try it all together. I'll play it, and this time you can join me whenever you're comfortable. Here I go. Wait, wait, keep the rhythm going. 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 Great. Now you have two different patterns. You have the first one, which is, as a reminder, low, high, low, wait, wait. And you have the second one, which is wait, wait, keep the rhythm going. Now, something you might notice that's very interesting about these patterns. What do you notice about the first pattern when it waits versus the second pattern when it waits? Anything you notice? The first pattern waits at the end. The second pattern waits at the beginning. That's kind of interesting because they're waiting at opposite times. One's waiting at the end, one's waiting at the beginning. The patterns that you're playing are also different. One is low, high, low, and the other is keep the rhythm going. Now, for complementary rhythms, if we did these at the same time, they would start to sound pretty cool. I'm going to play them both at the same time. Okay? It's going to sound like this. Listen. Low, high, low, keep the rhythm going. They 
fit well together because when the low high low is waiting, that's when the other one's playing. So I can actually play both at the same time. But I want to try something. I want to play the first pattern. I want to play low, high, low, and then I want you to play the second pattern. So we're going to go back and forth. When I play low, high, low, after I'm done, you're going to play, keep the rhythm go. We're going to go back and forth, okay? So with your bucket, when I play, you wait. When you play, I wait, okay? And you're playing, keep the rhythm going. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it, okay? Your part, keep the rhythm going. Are you ready? Here we go. Low, high, low, keep the rhythm going. rhythm going low, high, low, keep the rhythm going low, high, low. We, oh no. <laughs> what happened? We got so exciting in here that the lights went out. I'm back. Wow, that was exciting. I didn't know that happened in this room. Holy smokes. Okay. That was so good we made the lights shut off. Isn't that amazing? Let's switch now. Let's switch. Okay, so I'm going to play keep the rhythm going, which means you are going to have to start. You're going to start with low, high, low, and then I'm going to play keep the rhythm going. Okay, so you're starting. Good luck. You're starting. Ready? Here you go. Low, high, low. Keep the rhythm going. 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 Low, high, low. Keep the rhythm going low, high, low. Keep the rhythm going low, high, low. Keep the rhythm going low, high, low. Keep the rhythm going. Great. Okay. You now know both patterns. If you have two buckets and you got two people, you can play them in the same house at the same time. You can play those complementary rhythms back to back. It's a lot of fun. Practice those rhythms. Get them really solid because next week we're going to do a little bit more with them. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Stop.